Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. So, today I thought that I would do a, like, because I need to sort out my cupboards. They're getting very messy. All my, like, usually every once in a blue moon I will, like, clear everything out the cupboard, remove the stuff that we're never going to use or stuff that's out of date and um i i usually just um donate it to olio or something like that so that's what i'm going to do today and i just thought because i'm not feeling i'm still not feeling 100% i'm still not like i'm off my food i have just eaten just now i just had um a bagel with some uh strawberry jam but I just, I'm just, I don't know, I'm just really off my food at the moment. Hang on a sec, I just got to take this phone call. That was um, Clay's school just ringing me, booking me in for a um, teacher consultation for Calum. And you know, I'm actually surprised that they haven't even once rang me, once not even text me nothing about, because Clay's taken a few days off of school this week. He's, been, he's only been in once this week um yeah and Kaylin didn't go in for two days i think it was yeah and they didn't even text or ring or nothing so <laughs> that doesn't give me much like hope that if they ever like go to school and they just don't show up there's me thinking oh yeah they're at school safe and well and then I won't even get a confirmation like text to even say, oh, your child is not at school. So, huh. Anyway, um, yeah, so I'm just going to sort out all my cupboards today. Um, and what else? And I'm thinking I might sort out my freezer as well because that needs to, I need to go through everything in there. And just, you know, so I can at least then go to Iceland or something and buy some new stuff. Hello, mister. Hello. Yeah, but I'm not feeling like, I'm still not feeling 100%. Um, I actually came over feeling, I went dizzy twice. Once when I was laying down, once when I was sitting up. And I'm just the the general unfeeling well, really. But I need to keep uh, myself busy. Um, I'm not one of these people that just lay in bed. If I'm, if I'm physically, uh, like well enough ish to get up and out of bed i will because i really don't like uh laying in bed all day unless i'm really ill like i was the other day i literally huh i couldn't even get out of bed oh even just to go to, get up to go to the toilet for a wee was a struggle so yeah what else was I gonna say um yeah thank you to everyone who has um wished wished me well wished me and the boys to get well thank you for um everyone you know you've been very supportive and understanding i keep doing these um little week week on this and week on that and i'm, I'm not being able to actually get around to finish doing them like i never got around to finishing my vegetarian week and i like i said i still got two vegetarian um so I'm just trying to look for the butter. What did I do with that? That's in the fridge. Yeah, um, the vegetarian week, I still got two items, products, in the freezer that I need to do a review on. And then I can then start doing, once I feel better, I can start then doing, think of another one to do, um, whatever that may be. Do a week on... Um, like I mentioned about doing slim fast, I could do slim fast, not slim fast, slimming world, and there's other ones that I can do as well. I'm just going to um, butter Kane's uh, bagel, and then I'm going to get on with the video of my uncluttering. I will show you what the cupboard looks like before I've uncluttered it. So, this is what my my cupboard looks like that up there is where I usually keep all my cake making stuff, my flowers, my products. So I probably won't have to take anything out of there apart from this little thing here. What's that? Oh yeah, that thing. I don't know what that is. I got this out of, um, I got, that was from a, the Gusta box. 
I never, I don't know what it is, but we'll have a look properly in a minute. And yeah, it's just a bit chaotic really, isn't it? Uh -huh. Very, very chaotic. That's all my spices there. And down here, it gets worse. <laughs> and there. And then go over here. Look at the state of that cupboard. That needs cleaning. There's more junk. Oh my god, it's actually crazy. That's all my um oh, what are they called? Simply cook recipes. I have loads of them. I need to start using those and start cooking them off. So yeah. <clears throat> Just gonna um, basically get everything out, put it like, try to sort of like, I don't know where I'm gonna put it. I'm not in a very, my brain is not in thinking mode. I'm just thinking I will do it, but I don't know how. <laughs> I will just put it all on the table and then I'll just, what, what I don't want, I'll just put to one side and then I can just, like I said, I'm just gonna oleo. The stuff that I don't want. As long as it as it's in date, hasn't gone mouldy and stuff like that, it should be fine. So yeah. I've managed to clear out in my cupboard which isn't a lot and go over here that's basically like I didn't even touch that bit up there because I know what's up there and that's just all the stuff it doesn't look like I've cleared it out or you know just moved it about and just see what I've got I've put all my um simply cook meals that's how many i've got now so i've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten i've got 12 of those slim ones and then i've found three of these ones i'm guessing i probably got these out of the gusta box things which i've never used and then i just sorted out all my that's all my sachet things i've got porridge there rice got some custard some cheese sauce i found those in the other cupboard as well above the kettle so i've got some noodle chicken soup that was from a degusta i think this was yeah because i don't remember buying those i think these were from a degusta as well so there's two items that i will i will use up eventually and then i've got my um stock pot the powder ones i've separated them now so I've got those ones in there and there's loads in there. I won't need to buy any more stock pot things now. I've got some tomato puree and they're all the ones that come in the little plastic. So I've separated them. And then I've got nothing in there, nothing in there. And I didn't really touch this. That's just all my, um, you know, we have spices, herbs and spices. So... It doesn't look like I say, like I've sorted it, but I have sorted it. In my little minds, that's me sorting it. And then I've done this with this one. This one looks a bit more. Huh. Up there is just like flour for bread and stuff like that. 
And then I thought, instead of having like coffee, because I used to have before on this one, coffee and all like the drinks and, but I thought because I've got it all here, down here at the moment, because I've just been, I just got a jar and I just filled it with all the coffee, all different ones. I don't care about if it's all mixed and I can, I can just help myself here. That's where all my tea and coffee is. So I don't, technically, I don't really need to have my tea and coffee here. I need to have all my, all my, like this stuff here so I can see what I've got rather than keep looking up here and being like, oh, I can't see what's up there. Like that, that now I know is all my tea, coffee, hot chocolate, um, and stuff like that. I don't need any of that. So that can stay up there. And this down here is all the things that I use most of the time like all my you know when I do my shoes and stuff and I ain't got to search up there and get a chair anymore have managed to free up quite a lot of space actually in my freezer um i just basically got rid of like stuff that's been in there for like forever and stuff that i've kept thinking oh i might use that and actually i've never have <laughs> so only a couple of bits and then the other stuff was um like bread oh, just like loads of bread so you don't realize when you get all these like um like these magic bags and stuff like that like all the bread that you get you just shove it in the freezer you put it in the freezer before you know it you've got a freezer full of bread so i'll just turn you around so you can see i can actually see now what is in my freezer and i you know i can start using this stuff up over the next couple of weeks and then I can go once the freezer has been sort of like we're down to nothing then I can go do a nice big shop at Iceland because that's what I used to do before um every month I used to go to Iceland and I spend like a hundred pounds and just fill up my freezer and yeah that was before before um Tony before Covid before Kane and Winnie um and then that's when and then when Covid happened that's when I started doing my Hello Fresh, my Gusto and I sort of like steered away from the the convenient side of cooking but before all that that's what I used to do so I'll just turn you around an idea of what I mean so now I've got like the crumpets the bread the bread that I am going to use before I just had like gluten free and gluten free is not that great uh, I have a whole lobster in here I don't know how long that's been in there but I'm not going to throw that away then we got some roast potatoes we got the chicken Kievs from Costco and I have some chicken breast mini fillets and I also found a load more of these in the other freezer which I can defrost and I can put those in like packed lunches, like sandwich fillers. That's really good. Then I have some um, sweet leek and potato soup mix. Two of those. Then we got this, some sage, uh, pork and sage uh, stuffing mix. Some, some uh, ice and some leek, um, not leek, some bacon and cheese wraps from Aldi. I found some gammon steaks and I also have some bagels down there as well because I love bagels and we've got some cheap ice cream that's all the salmon that we got the other week from Costco and in there we've got some something or other from Tony's work forms or whatever i got uh, some mints that I didn't know I had got some, oh, got some Aunt Bessie Yorkshire puddings and then we've got some more roast potatoes in there. 
and then in this one with this one's what is that what is that i don't even know what is that oh yeah that's the but that's some butternut risotto what i just took out of the other freezer and then that's all the fish that i got the other day got two packs of spinach in there some pigs in blankets that i never use for christmas the chicken uh garlic kievs that i got the other day from co-op the little pie thing that i got the other day from co-op some peas in there I can, you know, I can need to be using all this stuff up, not just putting it in the freezer. Got some more fish, and I got some fish pie mix stuff in there that's been in there for like forever. I don't want to get rid of it though. And then I've got all my milks in here, and then down there, that's where Tony bought some stuff back once from work, which huh, um, nobody really really like we ate it and then we just kind of like didn't like it anymore he's the only one that really eats it and then over in this one i got i found all my, that's all my little bits to do for my um reviews i found a, a beef steak i got a nice um one of those little spatch cook little chicken things some um gammon, um what's that one down there the loin, the loin joints, uh, some more frozen veg, some frozen veg over there. Oh my gosh, this one I can't even open. Um, oh yeah, and this one we just got loads of wraps and a tortilla wrap and some more minced beef and some pepperoni slices and more bagels. And then in this one down here we just got pizza some of those bayo bun kit things that i was supposed to do but i never got around to doing and uh some ice cream oh my gosh and that's all the stuff in my fridge oh that's all the stuff actually that i'm just taking out of the freezer so i'm gonna defrost all this this is all curry stuff so i thought maybe we could have a curry uh if i'm feeling better as well something curry tomorrow so that's what i've just taken out the big freezer beef madras we've got some onion bargees we've got another curry thing there um got some i need to clean in i think that's uh i don't know what that is like that might be the raspberry juice or something got some uh naan breads there then i've just taken those um fish cakes out of the uh freezer and then two packs of the um cottage pie uh what i got the other day from thing and yeah i do need to go shopping it's it's pretty looking bare i've just put some um hash browns into the air fryer what i found as well in the because kane and winnie like hash browns and kane uh winnie needs to be eating something um like that's not gonna upset her stomach because she's still quite unwell so something like very bland that she can eat so I've, that's why i chuck those in in the uh, air fryer so yeah i'm just going to tidy up my um my kitchen floor decided to throw all these little um cheddar cheese biscuits all over the floor i will sit down with you and show you all the things that i'm getting rid of out of my cupboard and then i'm going to post it on odio and hopefully somebody will come around here today and come and pick it up <laughs> oh so finally sit down i am knackered i could go to bed easily right now <laughs> so what i got out of my cupboard where did I get this from, I wonder? I probably got this from a Degusta box as well. Alcohol-free, sparkling rose, something. So that'll be going in my Olio. If somebody wants to collect it. I found some creamy porridge. I never got round to giving Winnie. Six to ten months. Some pizza dipping sauce, sweet and smoky barbecue, but I don't know, should I keep that or not? Mm, pizza Express. I don't really overly sort of like use spices like that. Red currant jelly. 
What the hell did I buy that for? Must have bought it for something, I can't remember. Huh, I think it was like a, I think it was a um, Mary, Mary Berry recipe I was gonna do. Dr. Willis, all natural sweet mango sriracha. Sriracha? I'm not a massive sriracha fan. See this, the barbecue sauce, the wine and that sriracha sauce, that was from a Degusta box. So sometimes I do get things in there that I never ever use. So, pop twist, twist, top twist even. Clay said he doesn't like those. And they're the box is open, but they're still packaged inside. Then I've got some lemon curd. Again, probably for a thing I was going to do, but I never got around to it. This is a Degusta thing. Creamer Classic. It says it's ideal for black coffee and latte. I don't have any idea what it is. Some kind of ground coffee or something. Um... That has been opened and I'll probably just end up put um dunno what I'll do with that, but banana porridge. And got my little some little uh things that I got from the, the Gusta box the other day. The peri peri because I don't like spicy food and the Mexican burrito, tomato and chipotle cooking paste. Probably never gonna use that, so I might as well just give it to someone who will. Got some Special K, little box of cereal there. Some Silver Skin Baxter onions. We Nobody in this house likes pickled onions. Some lemongrass paste. Yeah, what can I say? Why did I buy that? <laughs> Cajon paste, that's a Degusta thing. Like I said earlier on, these are a Degusta thing. They're some kind of like puree. And it's got ginger and lemon chances of me using that zero chance and peppermint little thing pop there and these little spices for the pancakes and them whatever and we've got some vegan bolognese again degusta um do you know it just looks too oily on the top it just has so much oil on the top it put me off and we got this beer crunch. That was a, a beer crunch peanuts. Degusta. <laughs> Starting to wonder why I even get that Degusta box, to be fair. Let me just turn that on. Half of this stuff is all from Degusta. So, yeah. Um, Axe ax them gum. Why did I buy that for something? Free. Free from gluten. Not sure why I got that for, but... Got it for something. Then I got this from uh, Olio when I was doing Olio and I never got round to using it. So I'm just gonna Olio it back to somebody. And then these are salted chocolate almonds. These are from a Degusta box. Basically everything that I'm showing you right now is from a Degusta box more or less. The Chinese black bean, can't see myself ever using that, so I'm donating that. The sweet peppers, not ever gonna use those because I'm not a massive fan of peppers. This Madras um, sauce thing, never got around to using that. And the korma, not even sure I even like korma and the um, baked beans and tomato things. Yeah, that's all the things I'm donating. To Olio and I hope you enjoyed this little like different kind of video not ever done a video like this before but I just you know I'm not in the mood for doing food reviews I'm not feeling great but I can give you something food content wise and I wanted to do my my cupboard so I thought why, why not bring you guys along to watch me do it and hopefully I'll be feeling better on the next vlog and until then don't forget to like subscribe and I'll see you in the next video bye